the very first one that I recall was run by uh, Tennessee H Historical Society, and it was a charter to Monterey. And I was fortunate to be on it. We had quite a few to Monterey, some to Carthage Junction, some to Harriman, all the way, providing a chance for a lot of school kids to ride trains that never had. I worked on every excursion they ever ran. The biggest train of 21 cars was a mix of Tennessee Central and L&N. The high school in Clarksville was playing the high school in Cookville. It was chartered for the students, the band, and fans. We had 1,063, I believe, paying passengers. Being from Cookville, I was glad to see our, my alma mater won. And the train was actually getting ready to leave Cookville to return to Clarksville. And we had another excursion to Monterey the next morning. The engineer released the brakes, not the throttle out, and then the brakes went in emergency. And everybody thought, what the heck now? So the story was, as often was the case, tech boys, tech boys always cause the damage. The engineer said, one of those tech boys jumped on the running uh, board up front and he threw it in emergency. When he did, of course this train was still steam heated, he popped a coupler on the trailing end of 102, they were pulling it backwards, and pulled the steam line loose. So I never understood why they didn't. They could have called a carman down to Monterey to fix that, but they didn't. Instead, they took the car, 102, up to the Y in Cookville, turned it, brought it back on a passing track in the East Yard, put it on the other end of the train. But we still had no heat. <laughs> and uh, some of the students got hostile going back. And I believe, I can't remember exactly how late we were leaving the next morning. And I think I might have had three hours sleep that night. <laughs> I didn't go to Clarksville, though. I went home and then came back to get on uh, the Monterey train. But they were fun days. Uh, the scenery along that line is beautiful, and it's been pretty successful for the uh, Tennessee Central Railway Museum to operate these trains up that way. They've become very popular. But in 66 and 67, it was the Tennessee Central. They were very cooperative with the volunteers working the train and very appreciative of the fact that we were doing it.